what the blazes am I doing in the car at 4.46 in the morning? Hmm. Well, this is Dopey K, and I'm about to head to North Cornwall because there's talk of a spearfishing trip. There's talk of launching the boat in North Cornwall to go diving. So, can't turn that down, to be honest. I'm all ready. That's it, man. No. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Poseidon is having a little party, isn't he? A party in his pants. Yes. It's just a bit of weed, mate. Yeah, It's a baby. It's a baby. <laughs> it's not big enough. Yeah, we're going to get some footage of Max actually later. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unsurprisingly, as soon as we jumped off the boat into the water, there were bass everywhere. When the sea is fairly rough and the tide is pushing, the bass are busy feeding, and they're pretty much fearless. Here we can see two to three kilo fish almost brushing past my gun. Bass are really active in the water column during rough weather and strong tide because any bait fish will be easy pickings as they struggle to swim against the current. These bass are safe for as long as they are protected though, so it was off to try and find a different species. As we were spearfishing adjacent to a small island, I decided to explore closer into the rock, trying to get away from the apparently endless schools of bass. Going as close to the island as I dared with the massive surge, there were some fantastic boulders to explore. I felt there should be other species lurking amongst these cracks and boulders. Maybe a bream, or could there be triggers? Sure enough, diving back through the surging foam, a pair of triggerfish were darting about on a rock ledge. I put an awful shot in, but it was enough to be taking the fish home for dinner. triggers to the boat today we've concluded that this one here has not taken care of himself he looks like he's got a tumor he's got random gashes all over his body um, hmm. this one looks all right there this trigger looks nice lovely uh, conditions today on the water we've got a six foot ground swell with about a 15 mile per hour westerly behind it it's actually calmed down a fair bit. So here's my good old trigger fish and he's about to be cooked. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. But first of all, I'm just going to show you why it's called a trigger fish. So basically, you've got this big sharp spine here, which goes up as a defense against predators. It actually locks in place. You cannot push that down. I'm pushing as 
hard as I can on it, but it will not push down until you pull the trigger, which is this fin here. Okay, push the trigger, down it goes. So that one, this spine here, locks the big one in place. But as soon as you push that down, the trigger goes down. After many more hours of fun with the trigger fish, I decided the easiest way to cook it would be to bake it in the oven, given it had a really, really tough, scaly skin, almost leathery. That may be your mum's trigger. Mm. Tastes marvellous. It's really good.